everybody and welcome back to my channel um and in today's video i am going to be i guess doing a little freestyle well mostly in today's video i want to focus on 3d art and that is 3d art that obviously you do with acrylic and it's definitely one of my weakest points so i finally got my hands on some 3d nail brushes and I actually got these on Amazon. I had one from Alpha Brush, but I kind of started using it like to clean up the nails and around the cuticles. So I kind of lost its shape. <clears throat> and I was like, you know what? Let me just buy some new ones and see if it'll work better. Because with that brush, I was having a hard time doing 3D nail art. So I bought these guys from Amazon that also came with these liner brushes. So I will put the link in the description box below. Um, I believe it was like about $10, I'm not too sure. But it wasn't that ex um, expensive. So you know, you get these five brushes and then these other five brushes, which I already have liner brushes. But they are kind of wonky already, so I figured why not just have an extra pair on hand. So yeah, so I'm going to be using one of these. I'll probably be using the smallest one today just to get um, my feet wet a little bit with the 3D nail art and see where it goes from there. So as you see, I have my little stiletto nail tips. You know, I'm trying my hardest to get better with the shaping because shaping is not the easiest, it's really not. But I feel like I have the stiletto down packed. I mean, these don't look too bad. All right, so in today's video, of course, I'm going to be, sorry guys, I had to move my phone a little bit. I'm going to be using my Valentino acrylics. So yes, it is going to be a green set. I feel like I've been doing orange a lot lately. And I mean, I have a lot of different colors, but these are more of the summer colors. And these are the colors that I like to use. I love bright colors. Anything green, yellow, red, blue, purple, like those are my colors. I love nudes as well, but I'm more of a color girl. All right, so in this video today, we're going to be using some glitter. And this is the number 188. The following color, which most likely is going to be the base, is going to be 106. And then to do the petal, the flower petals that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using 112. And I'm also going to incorporate 148. So this is just also going to be part of the flowers as well. Um, so yeah, guys. So make sure to watch this video until the end. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post. And don't forget to share, share, share with a nail bestie. All right, guys, let's get started. So before I get started, of course, I'm going to go in with my e file and I'm just going to blend this little area out. And the reason why you should always blend this area out is because it'll look more even. I have noticed that a lot of times I'm kind of lazy and I just skip that step and you kind of see it when the set is done. So it's always good to file it. And they do say that if you file the whole nail that it kind of helps with the acrylic to catch on to the nail. So I'm going to try that today. And of course, I also bought these little guys from Amazon. So these are eye protective glasses. They're not regular glasses. This is just to protect your eyes from when you're using the e-file. And yeah, these were pretty. I got these. I got two in a pack. So I got this purple one and I have another pink one and they were $15 and I really like them so far I mean today is gonna be the first time I wear them but they look super cute 
and yeah i'm gonna put the link down below as well so if anybody is interested and this is very important because let me tell you i believe it was yesterday or the day before yesterday i was doing my nails and a big chunk of dust went into my eye and i kid you not guys my eye still hurts so it is very important to protect your eyes i know i don't really talk about it often but this should be number one on your list so yeah guys all right so i'm gonna go in with my e-file so i'll be right back so i'm going to replace this nail bit and this is my five and one fine nail bit and I'm going to replace it with a medium sanding band so and like I said I'm going to be using my Mona D. Susie e -file. you don't have to put it too high guys Alright, so now that I filed it and blended it out, I'm going to go in with the first color. And usually, if you're doing a real client's nail, this is the time, you know, where you dust off the nail, you put the dehydrator and the primer, but I'm not going to do that because it's a practice hand, so there's really no point of doing that. Um, but some people do. You don't have to, but some people do. But anyway, so like I said, the first color that I'm going to be using is 106. And this is like a cute light mint green color. I'm not sure if I want to do like a marble nail or something like that, but we'll figure that out on the way. So let's get started. Head into the other two. Ah. So 
So I'm not gonna close this color because I might do a marble. I'm not too sure yet. But let's go on ahead with the glitter. Usually it is always best to leave the glitters for last, but it's all right. Cause it's supposed, it messes up the, the brush with glitter. Alright, so I'm actually going to attempt the marble with, what number was this? 106, 112, and soft touch because I want a little bit of white in there. So this is kind of, kind of like a marshmallow white, but not really. I think it might be a little more intense than a marshmallow white, but let's see how it comes out. Hey guys, so I'm jumping in really quick as a voiceover to let you guys know that all I'm doing here is just encapsulating that marble nail with the crystal clear acrylic from Valentino Beauty Pure. Now I'm just going in with my 5-in-1 Kiara Sky Fine Nail Bit, and that's just to smooth out the top. Right now, all I'm doing is going back to reshaping my shape with the 80 grit nail file. And the reason why I do this is because after laying the acrylic, it tends to get a little chunky on the sides. So after I finish smoothing the top with the E file, I like to go in with the hand file just to give that shape, you know, some definition or refine it, whatever you want to call it. So I went ahead 
ahead and tried it off camera first and it's not so bad so let's see if i can do another one and we'll go from there so i moved it a little closer just so you guys could see so i'm gonna dip my brush in the monomer take a little bead let it dry on the brush and put it down let it set dry your brush and then push down hey this one actually This one came out way better. All right, that one was pretty good. So let's continue again. Go ahead and wet your brush. Actually, let me see. Maybe I could flatten it a little more. That one's there you go. That's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another bead and do the same. So what I'm gonna try now is, I'm going to see if I can do the double color method. I'm gonna try with soft touch. And I'm gonna try to make them a little smaller. But let's see. So I'm first gonna dip it into the green. And then I'm gonna dip it into the white. Okay, well that's not what I had in mind. A few moments later. So unfortunately the method that I was trying to do was not working for me for whatever reason. So I just went ahead and continued doing what I was doing before.
listen I cannot complain all right I, I if I still have the pictures of when I was in school doing 3d nail art you guys will crack up all right if I find it I'll definitely post it but I'm happy with my little flowers they actually came out pretty good so I'm just gonna do one more for the decoration and then I'm gonna go ahead and buff the rest of the nails and do a quick top coat all right, so I finished this guy and it kept bothering me. So I went back and I tried the double tone flowers. And what I did was I dipped my brush into soft touch first and then I dipped it into the green. So that's why it has that little green effect or ombre or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's okay. You know, for my first try, I'm, I'm not mad. Um, I definitely have to keep practicing. Probably need to get a smaller brush even though I think that was the smallest. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and like I said, buff these top coat and I'll come back to show you the result. You know, I definitely loved how it came out. Do I need improvement? Heck yes. <laughs> but you know, this is why we practice, of course, and watch other videos so we can get educated more. But I mean, for my first tries in school, which was last, I graduated last July, so I probably did 3D nail art like around May or June. So basically a year and a change, you know, I can't complain. I hadn't practiced it. You know, I didn't have the proper brush, but you know, I like how it came out. It was, it was cute. So, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and hit the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I post. And of course, share, share, share. And if you have any tips, please feel free to, like, to leave them down in the comment section below. I love to read all of your comments, even the negative ones, but you know what? It's cool. But anyway, I definitely love feedback. So yeah, guys, let me know. And until next time. Bye, guys.